Hello, and welcome to this tutorial. Today, I'll guide you through the exciting journey of creating a stunningly stylized low-poly character head in Blender, perfectly suited for animation. Let's begin by selecting the cube and deleting it. Press 1 on the numeric keyboard to switch to the front view. Add a reference image by going to Add Image Reference and load the image. Repeat this process for the side view by pressing 3 on the numeric keyboard. Use the middle mouse button to switch to perspective view. Move the reference images back to avoid interference. Return to the front view and press Shift A Mesh Cube. Go to Edit Mode by pressing Tab. Right click to select a vertex and merge it to the center by pressing Merge Vertices at Center. Press G to grab the vertex and move it to the forehead. Press E to extrude it along the face. Above the eyebrow. On the eyebrow. At the beginning of the eyes. At the middle of the eyes. At the end of the eyes. At the beginning of the nose. At the end of the nose. At the beginning of the mouth. At the end of the mouth. At the tip of the chin. And at the middle of the chin. Switch to the front view again and press A to select all vertices. Press E to extrude. Switch to face selection by pressing 3. Select the face and extrude it to form the nose. Return to perspective view and delete the face behind the nose. Go to object mode by pressing tab. Right click and select shade smooth. Add a modifier by going to Modifiers, Add Modifier, Generate, Subdivision Surface. In the Advanced Settings, choose Boundary Smooth and select Keep Corners. Select the face of the mouth, press X and delete Face. Switch to the front view and go to Edge Selection by pressing 2. Move the edges to the desired position. Select the edges and extrude them by pressing E. Switch to Vertex Selection by pressing 1. Select the two closest vertices and press M at center. Repeat this process for the other edges. Go to Front View. Press Shift A Mesh UV Sphere. Rotate it in the x-axis by 90 degrees and move it to the eye area. Press Alt-Z to go to x-ray mode and move the eye to the desired position. Go to side view. Select the face and go to edit mode by pressing tab. Keep moving the vertices to fit the line of the face. Go to front view, press tab to go to object mode and hide the eye. Press Shift A Mesh Circle. Change the vertices to 10, rotate it in the X axis by 90 degrees, and move the vertices to fit the line of the eye. Select all vertices by pressing A. Press E to extrude. Press S to scale. Press Ctrl 2 to subdivide and tweak the vertices. Move the piece to the desired position. Press right-click to shade smooth. Select the vertices and move them along the y-axis to fit the line of the eye. Go back to object mode by pressing tab. Select the two pieces and press right-click, Join. Go back to Edit Mode by pressing Tab and select Edge by pressing 2. Select the edges. Press right-click, Bridge Edge Loops. Hide the subdivision in the Modifier Properties. Select the edges. Press E to extrude. Press S to scale. Select the vertices. Press M for the Merge menu, at last.
Select the edge loop along the eye by pressing Alt. Press E to extrude and move the edges along the Y axis. Press Ctrl plus R, use the mouse wheel to add two edge loops. Continuously develop the face by repeating the process. Ensure accuracy by alternating between side and front views. Extrude the edges and refine the face as needed. Select the face of the chin, press E to extrude, make some tweaks, and delete the face in the back. Add a modifier, generate, mirror. To fix the mirror turn on snap, absolute grid snap. Press Ctrl to snap to the grid and move the vertices on the x-axis. Go to the modifier panel and apply mirror. Switch to sculpting mode. Turn on symmetry and select the grab brush by pressing G. Turn on subdivision modifier. Turn on wireframe and make some tweaks. You can toggle between object mode and sculpting mode by pressing Ctrl plus tab. Press Ctrl R to add loops. You can press Shift to smooth the model. Press Ctrl plus R, use the mouse wheel to add two edge loops. Select the mouth edges, press E, and extrude on the y-axis. Select the ring by pressing Alt. Right-click, Bevel Edges. Keep tweaking the model with sculpting tools. I used the grab brush, inflate, and smooth. Press Ctrl R to add a new loop and adjust its position. Select the other loop and right click, then choose Slide Edge. If you're sculpting, it'll probably destroy your symmetry. To fix it, Go to the front view and delete half of the face, then select all the vertices and snap them to the grid on the x-axis.
continuously develop the face by repeating the same process, adding more edges as needed and refining further. Ensure accuracy and precision by navigating between side, front, and perspective views. Select the faces of the ear, press E to extrude. Press S to scale. Extrude again. Select the edge around the ear, and extrude along the y-axis. Go to side view, press shift a mesh cube. Press control 2 to subdivide and apply the modifier. Switch to front view and delete half. Move it to position. Press control j to join. Press right click to shade smooth. Go to perspective and select the edge. Press right-click, Bevel Edges. Continue sewing the face. Select the edges, right-click, Bridge Edge Loops. Merge the vertices behind the ear. Select the edges, press F to fill. To delete unnecessary edges, select the edges, press X to delete dissolve edges. Merge the vertices by pressing M. Keep tweaking by right-click edge slide. Utilize the cut tool to add topology as necessary, then merge the vertices to maintain clean geometry.
To move between modes, press Control Tab. Thank you for watching. If you found this tutorial helpful, please leave a comment and consider subscribing for more tutorials in the future. Your support is greatly appreciated.